Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to my playthrough of The Cursed Forest. It's a free indie game that's notable for using the Cry Engine, which is the engine developed by Crytek for their Crisis series. And it's a pretty powerful engine. It has uh, beautiful graphics capabilities, as you can see just from the main menu. And other than that, I don't really know much about it. Uh, I know it's rather lengthy, so I probably couldn't get it done in one shot. So I'm probably going to have to break this up into multiple videos. Um, there is a link in the description to download it if you so desire. However, if you do, be warned, it will ask you to sign up for and activate a Crydev account in order to access the game. Now, it, might, it may seem a little sketchy, but uh, don't worry, it's totally legit. I did it, it's fine, and uh, apparently everyone else had to do it too in order to play the game. So, if you, uh, if you encounter that while trying to install the game, don't worry, it's nothing to be concerned about. Anyway, let's go ahead and play. I'm very excited. This game came out about six months ago, and I somehow missed the boat. Uh, and like, when it wasn't new anymore, I was like, eh, I'll just, you know, play some other stuff instead. But uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for it ever since, so it's, you know, it, it, I can't say that for all games that I, that, that time passes on. So I figured I'd check it out. This afternoon, August 13th, I received bad news. My mother back in the city had a heart attack, so I rushed there. The road to the city is rather lengthy, so I decided to take a shortcut through a place some call Cursed. Because of such reputation, no one had taken care, no one had taken that path for quite some time, but I didn't care. All what I cared about was to get to my mother as quickly as possible. The sky was unusually clear, and the sun was shining bright. That is, until I made a turn to that cursed place. Suddenly, it had become so dark that even my headlights didn't make any difference. I had to drive in total darkness no matter what. Then something unusual happened. Without any reason, my car electricity started to go off. I heard a strange noise and a dark human figure appeared in front of my car. I tried to break to the side but lost control and ended up in a ditch, then all faded into darkness. Next thing I know, I'm awake at some strange place on top of a hill. Well, that was perfect timing. I didn't click or anything. It just, I guess it was on a timer. Hello there, sir. Somebody lit this fire for me, or maybe I did it. Either one. Anyway, um, what's this? Is that a... Okay, well, <laughs> strange place indeed. Uh, looks like we've got some uh, beers that we're throwing back while our mother is in the hospital, so that's great. Um, instead of sitting here toasting by the fire, I guess we're gonna wander off into the woods. Um, one thing about that intro description is that, uh, well, you can, you can tell this game was either translated or the creator's not a native English speaker. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, but there's just some things with how it was written that was a little strange. Wow. Man, people weren't kidding when they said the graphics were pretty good. I mean, I'm not like a graphics number one type of guy, but th this is pretty impressive. I think the only games I'd play on the Cry Engine are the Crisis games, so there you go. Hi there! Fork in the road. Guess we'll go this way towards the light. Things got bluer just now. Blue is such a comforting color. Hello, abandoned shack. With another roaring fire out front. Man, I'll tell you what, I mean, I've been camping before. It's hard to get a fire to stay going, so this must have been recently lit. God, why was I bragging about that? I've been camping. I've been camping before. I don't think many of you have, but I have. Okay. Read the note. August 12th, 1967. Tomorrow is the day when everything is going to change. I tried to convince the Morgans to stop what they were planning, but they didn't listen. The things they are going to do with their daughter are out of this world. I don't understand how parents can agree to do such horrible things. They are out of their minds. Things were better back in the day. August 13th. As I expected, things didn't go well. What have they done? 
August 14th. I don't know if anyone's going to read this, but there is one thing I know for sure. What they have awakened doesn't remind me of that good little girl I knew since she was five. Today I heard a horrible scream in the distance. I don't think this hut is safe anymore. I feel like I'm being watched. So, the Morgans, their daughter was sacrificed, basically? Or not sacrificed, but they did something to her. August 15th. I need to get all her remains and all of the ritual stones to repeat the ritual. Maybe it will purify the innocent soul and calm the evil spirit down. I haven't heard from any of my neighbors for a while. It seems that we are all going to die. Maybe we deserve this fate. That's a... That's a stretch, dude. What, what, what happened? Wait, wait a second. You haven't heard from your neighbors in a while. Like, I guess three days? Does that count as a while? Do people out in this area talk to each other more than normal? Looks like you were in the middle of gutting a fish, dude. Alright, so... Repeat the ritual with all the ritual stones. Maybe, maybe we deserve... Why would, why would you deserve this fate? Very strange. Hey. Did I do that? I probably did that, right? Hi there. You are a generator or something. So... Wait, 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 wait. I can go that way. Wait, wait. Did I come this way? I can't run, by the way. That always bugs me in these games when you can't run. Oh, look! An outhouse! So this is where you do it. Hmm... I don't... Maybe I can just hold it. I'm fine with that. Okay. Disappointed in that. You'd think that with a... With a game like this, it would be more based on atmosphere than jump scares, but... Hey, fat frog, how are you able to ghost through things like that? You are supernaturally inclined, sir! Look, he, he's like jumping all weird, too. Yeah, super powered amphibian. Is this a trap or something? Alright, there's some glowy thing out there. Let's go get it. <laughs> Drown! <laughs> Drown immediately. Alright, ooh. Can we. Can I jump? Or. Oh, you can jump. Good. I haven't even tried it yet. Pick up bone. Is it a glowy bone? Pick up the glowy bone. Whoa! What was that? Wait. What the hell just happened? I'm like underneath the water. Okay. I don't know what happened. I was like way underneath the water though. Oh, fuck. Alright, so what was that? What was that all about? Saw some sort of dark figure there. Wasn't... Wasn't pleased with it. How the... Am I underneath the dock? These controls are super weird. I was underneath the dock with the... Super powered amphibian over there. Alright, so I got a hip bone. That's good. Did somebody throw out their hip? Ha! That was a... That was a pun. Get it? Throw out? The more I talk about it, the worse it becomes. So, that bush just like rendered right in front of me. <laughs> get, in your, get in your spot, Frank! Oh, sorry. It's like all, all the other bushes were berating him. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm a lot funnier than I am. Wait a second. I'm not done exploring this. There, there was another way to go. I saw it. Hmm. It's always, I think it's always good when you think you're funnier than you are. Well, okay, that's not always true. There's a lot of people out there that don't need to think that they're funny, but, um, I don't know. I laugh at my own jokes. Okay, let's see. 
I mean, it makes sense, because, you know, if you have your sense of humor, you're going to know how to cater to it. I don't know why I'm getting so defensive. All right, we'll go this way. Lots of forking paths so far. Yeah, these graphics are pretty good. Hey! Who's knocking over barrels? You mischievous creature. Hey, I found something. Another glowy thing. Another glowy bone. Okay. Are we, like, assembling? Is that... Ah, that was something. That was that thing that we saw just now in the water. Weird. Are we assembling her skeleton? Oh my. I really hope that there's more of this game than item collection. Fetch questy type stuff, because that has been done to death. Uh, now we go this way, right? Thank you. Hey! She went off that way. I see. So, uh... Path kind of disappeared appeared over here. That's concerning. Oh, don't worry. I found something. <clears throat> Another glowy bone, perhaps. You. I want you. Is that everything over here? Hmm. That thing appeared again. Is that her? Is that that little girl that got sacrificed or whatever? Hmm. Alright, so I found both arms and the hip. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's good, I guess, but got a lot of bones to go. Okay, so here's the path. Seems like there's, there's one bone in each area, perhaps? <sighs> I don't know. Things are very green. And not that dark. Oh. She's up there. That's kind of cool. I like those little moments. You know, a long time ago I played a game called Dear Esther that had moments like that. They were pretty cool. I have to say. Like, I, I enjoyed them. Somewhere... A passage open. You can't see it because it's blocked by my pa my uh, face cam, but somewhere a passage opened. How am I receiving this information? How am I cognizant of it? Is someone sending me a telepathic message? Somewhere, somewhere a passage opened. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well. Um. I don't know, but I'm gonna. I didn't see any places that were blocked. We'll just go this way. Because I haven't been this way yet. It would be so great if you could run. I mean, that's just like... That's a huge pet peeve of mine. Hang on. Oh. There were no controls for this game either. Like... And I looked in the options, there was nothing. Oh, left or right? Let's go right. You haven't collected all the necessary items. That's what it says up there. Or here. That's what it says here. Okay, okay. Alright, I'm... You haven't collected again. How am I re how am I obtaining this information? I guess it's a cursed forest, so magic. Does I I wonder does text appear in his vision or like is he receiving 
Like a thought transmission, or what's the deal? How does he know that? That's convenient that he does, though, because otherwise it'd just be like... It'd just be like, what the fuck, you know? Hmm. That was a jump-scary moment. Except there hasn't been enough atmosphere and tension built up yet for me to get that invested. Or are you going to do it or not? Follow through with something for once in your life. Hey, a water tower. There's no ladder or anything, so we're going to continue. You know, say what you will about Five Nights at Freddy's. I know a lot of people give that game grief for having so many jump scares, but it does such a good job of um, establishing that tension and that stress that makes those jump scares pay off uh, the atmosphere. But when you have jump scares that appear with no atmosphere built up beforehand, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, spooky, scary forest, but, you know, things have kind of appeared. There hasn't really been a whole lot of stuff to make me, uh, on edge yet. Oh, that was, was that, oh, that was some shadow over here. That was not me. Pick up stone. Not yet. See, so that's good. I heard something moving around in the water. That's that's good. I don't mean to be too critical, but... You died! How'd I die? Anyway. Jump scares in themselves aren't inherently bad. It's all contextual. Anyway, I'm not gonna knock this game yet because we haven't really even gotten into it yet, but... Oh god, what have we done? Who did we summon? It's not what we expected. My lovely wife has gone insane. Oh Mary, I love you. Forgive me for everything. So wait, let me get this straight. You gathered ritual stones for some sort of weird <laughs> batshit crazy ritual and it's not what you expected. Oh my god. Well, it's hard to feel sorry for you, dude. Ooh. Wait, who is that? This is... Wait, the day on that was 1967, wasn't it? So I guess this is the Morgan's residence. Oh, I thought this was a mirror for some reason. Yeah, 1967. So who is this? You can't tell me that that's your wife. Well, that's like 1867. Alright, whatever, dude. Oh. Did you see it? Ooh. Oh, she killed me. Is that what happened earlier? That's what happened earlier. I like, uh, I went to, uh, I, I activated her and then I went to read the note. I didn't even see her and she killed me. Oh my god, my nose is just so bad. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, how about the, uh, how about this, we'll, thanks. Alright, now we'll do it. There she goes. Alright, so, we're not going over there. Okay, so we can't go back. Oh, the power went out. Huh. Alright, well, congratulations. You can do that. Were you in... Were you in the outhouse the whole time? <laughs> she killed me. Excuse me. Oh my god, do I have to do this over again? I guess I don't have to read the note. I can just go straight for the stone. Alright, thanks. I'm kinda ruining this by experiencing it over and over again, but... Alright, so not self. Don't go to the outhouse. See, how are you doing that? Because I'm looking at the generator right now, and... Nothing's happening. Alright. 
There's a torch over here, so I assume this is where you go next. There's another torch over here. Huh. Sorry, my nose is just super itchy. I don't know what the freaking deal is. It's really inconvenient. Huh. You go this way? Probably, right? What? and don't look back at the shadow. Again, it'd be great if you could sprint. Alright, I won't look back. I wonder how close she is. Okay. Ah, okay, jumping does not make you faster. She disappeared! Alright, so we had a little bit of a chase scene, but it's... hard when they tell you not to look back. Can you still go this way? Why don't we go this way? Might be... Might be more fun. Who knows, there might be more body parts we can collect over here. Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's do it. I'm down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, is it blocked? I think it's blocked. Yeah, it is. I didn't see this uh, other trunk before. Looks like we can't get past it. Uh, yeah, it's totally blocked. Oh well. Follow the lights. We'll do that instead. So one thing I, one good thing I have to say about this game is that it's very aesthetically appealing. I can't say that I'm like really drawn in by the notes in the story yet, but... What was that? Are you over here? Oh, she kills you! Huh. You know, for as aesthetically appealing as it is, it's uh... Hmm. The monster herself isn't insanely detailed. That's, you know, I... Oh. That was a hallucination. I actually prefer it when you can't see the monster or the monster has less detail because then it leaves more to the imagination, you know? It's like, uh... Because anything that your imagination can come up with is scarier than what inevitably ends up being there. That's my theory, anyway. But in this case, it's just like a silhouette of a woman with glowy eyes. And I think maybe we could flesh her out a little bit, don't you think? I mean, sometimes the detail monsters can make them is what is what makes them terrifying, you know. So I don't know. Basically, bottom line, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. How do I get in there? I'd like to get in there. Hmm. There's light. I like places that have light. I would like to go inside. This is really cool. Like just the environments. Well done. However, I'm getting a serious daylight vibe from this game so far. I realized this was before daylight. Kind of interesting how how like hard this game is kicking daylight's ass so far. Just from what I've seen. And it's free. And made by a smaller team with less money than daylight was. I'll stop bashing daylight. Oh hey, ribcage. I did it. This thing moved, so I go this way? Is that it? Probably, right? Oh. I'm gonna be super mad if this is not what I do, but it looks like it. Okay. These trees are freaking tall, man. Are we in, like, California, the redwood forest or something? Ah, these are not thick enough to be redwoods. 
<sighs> Was I not supposed to do that? Somewhere a passage opened. Again, how am I receiving this information? Oh, okay, we go back to, uh... To where that place was, you like, you don't have the necessary items, or whatever. We're gonna go in there. Hey! Hey! You don't have the necessary items! Who are these gatekeepers that are keeping us out of these sections of the forest just because we don't have... Don't do it! You bastard, I just told you not to do it! I'm not the type to listen. To take orders. Yeah, you're a real rebellious tree. Have fun being on the ground forever and ever. And slowly decomposing. I know I'm trash-talking a tree, but... Hey. What else is there in this game? This game's full of trees. Are you hungry? Eat the apple. Alright, let the record show. I am completely against this decision. But let's go. Mmm, I'm hungry. I ate the apple. Uh-oh. I died! 